Have you heard about the incredible James Webb Space Telescope? It's a remarkable piece of technology that is set to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. Scientists are thrilled because the telescope's strength has been proven, and it's going to enable us to observe hundreds of distant red giant stars in another galaxy. Imagine that! We're talking about stars that are millions of light years away. Welcome to Revel Technology, where cutting edge meets limitless potential in the world of innovation. You know, peering outside the Milky Way is like opening a window to the greater galactic society to which we belong. It's like learning more about our cosmic neighbors. The James Webb Space Telescope has the potential to teach us so much. And now, get this, it has received an alarming signal from the Andromeda Galaxy. This signal is about to change everything we know, from our perception of the universe to the possibility of life on another planet. Are you ready for a mind-blowing revelation? Buckle up! But before we dive into the exciting details, let's quickly run some basics about the Andromeda Galaxy. You see, the Milky Way, our home galaxy, is part of a larger group called the Local Group. Andromeda is a fascinating member of this group located around 2 million light years away from us. It's the nearest Milky Way-like galaxy to Earth. Sometimes astronomers refer to the Andromeda Galaxy as Messier 31 or M31. The late French astronomer Charles Messier created a renowned list of objects to avoid during comet hunting, and the Andromeda Galaxy was the 31st fuzzy item on that list. Now, amateur astronomers use telescopes and binoculars to seek out these objects. And let me tell you, they are some of the most stunning deep sky objects ever discovered. Picture this, even though the Andromeda Galaxy is much larger than the Milky Way, it appears as a streak of distant light bigger than a full moon in a dark sky. And guess what? It can be seen, at least in part, every night of the year from mid-northern latitudes. However, most people catch their first glimpse of this magnificent galaxy in August or September when it's high enough in the sky to be visible from nightfall till sunrise. Now, here's something fascinating. Besides being relatively close to us, research shows that the Andromeda galaxy is also traveling in our direction. And get this, in a few billion years, about 4.5 billion to be precise, the two galaxies, the Milky Way and Andromeda, will collide and merge. Can you imagine the cosmic event that will be? But let's not get ahead of ourselves. You know, there's something intriguing about the Andromeda Galaxy. It houses a whopping 229 red giant stars, and these stars are all located in the spiral arms of Andromeda. Now, why are these stars so important? Well, stars are the building blocks of galaxies, and by studying these red giants, scientists can learn a great deal about the past and future of our own Milky Way galaxy. It's part of NASA's Web Early Release Science Program, and the team is constantly focusing on these old stars, understanding their composition, their ages, and how they contribute to the overall understanding of our galaxy. Speaking of red giants, did you know that in about 6 billion years, our very own sun will become a red giant too? Yes, it's true. The sun will expand, inflating up and devouring inner planets like Mercury, Venus, and possibly Earth. It's a mind-boggling thought, isn't it? And here's the interesting part. What happens in our part of the universe could have repercussions across the local group, including places like Andromeda. That's why understanding Andromeda is crucial. Fortunately, Andromeda, or Messier 31, is close enough for the James Webb Space Telescope to analyze its individual stars. And let me tell you, Andromeda is a treasure trove of knowledge. It's a large spiral galaxy, much like our own Milky Way. John Holtzman, a collaborator from New Mexico State University, says we've learned a lot about our own galaxy, but we need to understand how similar other spiral galaxies are to ours and how much diversity exists among them. So, by studying Andromeda, we can gain insights into the broader patterns and characteristics of galaxies. Now, how do scientists study these stars in Andromeda? Well, they use a technique called spectroscopy. It's fascinating. Spectroscopy involves splitting the light from individual stars into detailed colors like a cosmic rainbow. By doing this, scientists can measure the absorption bands in the starlight caused by heavier elements present in the star's atmosphere. 
These measurements provide valuable information about stars' composition, allowing scientists to understand the chemical properties and age of the stars. You see, the early stars in the universe were primarily made up of hydrogen and helium. But as these stars reached the end of their life cycle, they went out with a bang, exploding as supernovas. And these spectacular finales resulted in the creation of heavier elements. These newly formed elements can be found in younger stars, indicating the age and evolution of the galaxy. In fact, there is an intriguing division between the chemical properties of older stars in the Milky Way and younger stars in the galaxy's disk. Scientists are curious to find out if a similar feature exists in Andromeda, which would shed light on the formation paths of both galaxies. Now let's shift gears for a moment and talk about the recent signal from the Andromeda galaxy that has the scientific community buzzing. NASA has detected a signal that suggests the existence of something enigmatic, dark matter. Dark matter is a mysterious substance that is thought to make up a significant portion of our universe. It's like the invisible glue holding galaxies together. The signal detected by NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope near the center of our Milky Way galaxy is very similar to the one observed in Andromeda. Gamma rays, the highest energy type of light, are created by intense processes in the cosmos. And galaxies like the Milky Way are rich in gamma rays because cosmic rays, high-speed particles, create them when they interact with interstellar gas clouds and starlight. The recent Fermi measurements have revealed that the gamma rays in Andromeda are concentrated in the galaxy center, rather than spread throughout. This unique distribution has puzzled scientists, and they believe it may be caused by several unknown sources. One possibility is dark matter. It is believed that dark matter accumulates in the innermost regions of galaxies, including the Milky Way and Andromeda. So, finding this compact signal in Andromeda is incredibly exciting. Another potential source of the signal could be a dense concentration of pulsars in Andromeda's center. Pulsars are spinning neutron stars, incredibly dense objects that emit gamma rays as a significant portion of their energy. Pulsars are challenging to locate, especially in a galaxy that is 2.5 million light years away like Andromeda. But here's the fascinating part. The similarities between Milky Way and Andromeda give scientists a unique opportunity to compare and understand these phenomena in both galaxies. By studying pulsars in the Milky Way, scientists can make fresh X-ray and radio observations of Andromeda to see if the gamma rays are indeed emanating from these objects. This comparison between the two galaxies helps scientists explore cosmic rays and their behavior in different galactic conditions. We're still in the early stages of understanding the cause of this gamma ray excess and the role of cosmic rays in galaxies. But this finding serves as a thrilling starting point for unraveling the mysteries of both Andromeda and the enigmatic dark matter. Scientists are eagerly studying the data collected by Ido Berger, Yvette Sendis, and their team using the world's most significant radio and millimeter telescopes. The millimeter and radio wave readings were even brighter than expected suggesting the possibility of an entirely new mechanism for producing extra millimeter and radio waves. This discovery has opened up a whole new world of potential findings about the universe's most intense explosions. And this is just the beginning. With the upcoming launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, we can expect even more groundbreaking discoveries. This powerful telescope, equipped with cutting-edge technology, will allow scientists to investigate various astrophysical phenomena, including gravitational waves. The possibilities are endless, and the knowledge we gain will undoubtedly shape our understanding of the universe and our place in it. What are your thoughts on the James Webb Space Telescope and its potential to observe distant red giant stars in another galaxy? Are you excited about the possibility of gaining insights into the greater galactic society to which we belong? Engage with us by leaving a comment, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the notification bell for regular updates. Keep watching, stay inspired, and get ready for more exciting discoveries. See you in our next episode.